This is an overview about ministry teams. First, let's talk about the typical traditional committee. You have a committee chair and several committee members. They plan on what people should do, and then they, or perhaps others, carry out the tasks of the committee. Now, in smaller congregations, the model tends to look like this. There's one committee chair that takes care of one task. Ministry teams take a more holistic approach. First, they start with mission. What is the congregation's role in the world? Then they figure out what their ministry is. How do they put their faith into action? Other aspects of being on a ministry team is building fellowship within the team and also providing time for spiritual practice and reflection. Relationship building is an essential part of ministry teams. First, you invite people into service. You connect them to the mission of the congregation and help give them resources. And you connect them to others in the congregation and outside your walls. Ministry teams don't have a traditional chair. Instead, there's a team of leaders. One person does serve as the point person for the team, but they do share the leadership. They plan how to best serve the ministry of the congregation in a way that serves the mission and that enables the members of the team to serve in a meaningful way. At the same time, this team of leaders also focuses on the inward ministry, that is, ministry to the members of the team. They pay attention to make sure that there's a spiritual aspect to their work. They provide opportunities for the team to function as a learning community, and they also provide opportunities for fellowship among the members of the team. You can learn more about this model of ministry teams in the book Transform Your Church with Ministry Teams by G. Stanley Ott. An additional strength of this model is that it provides for organic succession planning. If the team leader leaves, one of the other team leaders can step into that leadership role. The remaining team leader members then identify a potential leader from the team members and mentor them into a new leadership position. A helpful resource for mentoring is Lois Zachary's The Mentor's Guide.